Rubber Duck Debugging is a famous way to solve problems. Today we will combine this technique with Socratic questions and swarm intelligence, two other powerful methods. The goal is nothing less than to create the best problem solver in the Internet age. One which was never built before. And our budget? Below $10, because I just returned from holidays, with a lot of impressions, but empty pockets, as usual. How far will we get? Gritty YouTubers, here is the guy with the Swiss accent, with a new episode and fresh ideas around sensors and microcontrollers. We need a good idea, a few parts, a little cloud computing, and the brains of an intelligent community like you, my valued viewers, to achieve our goal. One part of the good idea comes from Dimitris Platis, who built a so-called dialectic ball, a mixture of a rubber duck and a magic eight ball. Rubber duck debugging is a famous way of deblocking frozen thinking processes by explaining the problem to somebody else. Or if you do not have anybody else, which is interested in listening to you, to a rubber duck. The idea behind it is that during this teaching, you learn a lot about your problems yourself. Dimitris enhanced the passive and silent rubber duck by adding a display which asks so-called Socratic questions. These questions are named after the inventor, the Greek philosopher Socrates. He discovered that asking questions can induce a very efficient learning process in the other person. Dimitri's device uses only an AT Tiny 84 processor, which is for sure not as intelligent as Socrates for the creation of questions. Here are the few items which fit it in the memory of the device. You decide about the quality and the number. I was not happy and asked myself who could ask more and better questions? Me? No, not at all. My boss? Even less. My wife? No comment. I propose to use swarm intelligence for that purpose. I want to build a stimulating crowd for the creation of the questions. During the last years I learned that you, my viewers, are very skilled people. So you will be part of the swarm if you decide so. But how does it work? You explain your problem to your Internet Socrates. If finished, you press the button and wait for a moment. The device connects to a Google Sheet with all the intelligent questions, picks randomly one and displays it. And because the question is good, it encourages you to answer. During this process, according to Socrates, you learn more about your problem. In rare and hard cases, you even can repeat this process and answer a second question. As famous Einstein said, if I had an hour to solve a problem, I'd spend 55 minutes thinking about the problem and 5 minutes thinking about solutions. Cool. But how come the questions into the spreadsheet? Simple. You enter your proposals into a spreadsheet and I will transfer it to the productive sheet, which is read only. You find a link in the description. Internet Socrates consists of four parts. A push button, an OLED, an ESP8266 and a box. The ESP connects to a Google Apps script and requests a question. Other than in video number 185 and 189, you do not have to program a Google script because you can call My API. All you have to do is to enter your Wi-Fi credentials and you're good to go. So let's try it. I press the button and get a question. Of course, it takes a while to get it because it is a good question. Now I need a box. I did not make my own because I hope that a viewer will create a nice one. I started with a version of Dimitri's questions and if I get many proposals, I will come back and let you decide on the best questions. I will then enhance the algorithm that it presents the best questions with a higher probability. Summarized, we took some proven ideas to solve problems, 
enhanced it with the possibilities of the internet technology and created something new and unique. At least this is my opinion. And what is yours? Will you build one? I hope this video was useful or at least interesting for you. If true, please consider supporting the channel to secure its future existence. You find the links in the description. Thank you. Bye.